Hello, and welcome to this VVNX demo for EMC World. To ensure a quick demo, the VVNX has been deployed, the initial configuration wizard has been completed, and six VDisks have already been added. This is what the VVNX dashboard looks like once logged in. Let's start the demo by navigating through the system menu to the system health page. This page displays a graphical representation of physical hardware components. By clicking a system component in the left-hand selection table, the graphic changes to display the system component as well as underlying components. You can also click components within the graphic to see the status of the component along with other relevant information. As you can see here, we've already added six virtual disks or vDisks to this VVNX instance. Note that the VVNX is limited to 16 vDisks for the initial release. Let's now go to the Storage Pools page through the Storage menu. We can create a storage pool out of the available vDisks that we saw earlier. Here, you can select the virtual disks that you want for this storage pool. We'll select the first three. We'll select the tier as performance since the backend disks are comprised of SAS drives. Once the storage pool is successfully created, we can go into details and view the disks that were added for the pool. We can now provision some storage resources from the created storage pool. Let's first create a LUN group by going through the storage menu to the LUNs page. We'll name this LUN group test dev and then provision four test LUNs of 25 gigabytes. We'll keep the default snapshot schedule, give LUN access to our ESXi host, review the summary, and then click Finish. Let's now create a file system by going through the Storage menu to the File System page. Note that a NAS server has already been created for demo purposes. Let's create a SIFS file system. We'll name it File System Test, give it 25 gigabytes, and name the window share as share-test. In the Configure Snapshot Schedule page, we'll customize the snapshot schedule to our liking. As you can see, there are many different rule sets available to customize when snapshots are run. Here we'll choose on select days as a rule and select some various days and options to show the customization available to users. Once everything is set and the summary looks good, we can finish the creation of the file system. If we go into the details of the newly created file system, we can see in the snapshots tab that the protection schedule is set as schedule test and the state is enabled. 